Oh, hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am going to be doing this special occasion look for you with a ton of tips that I've learned along the way that help your makeup really stay put and look really good at special occasions and in special occasion photos. Okay, because it's special occasion season, there's quite a few little like tips and tricks you can do to help your makeup really stay on because let's face it, you're going to a wedding, you're going to a prom, you're going to a formal, you're looking at hours in the same face of makeup, lots of photos, and you don't want it to get like smudged or faded. So here's some kind of tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that will really help. The first thing about stay put makeup is that it really starts with your base. And I don't mean like the foundation you pick, while that is important, I mean like building from the base out. So the first thing that's really helpful is exfoliate your skin the day before because it's going to really get off anything that kind of flakes or smudges or doesn't stay put. But also if you do it the day before, your skin will have adjusted back to kind of normal and not have any redness or anything like that. Um, and then of course, extremely moisturized skin holds makeup so much better than dry skin. It just does. Next is picking a foundation. I personally really, really like the L'Oreal 24. Um, it looks really nice and it actually like stays on forever. I don't know why and I don't know how, but somehow like water beads off of it. To be honest, there's a lot of really good long wear foundations out there um, in all different price points. So just kind of you know look around and find the ones that are best for you. And also know what kind of coverage you want. Um, you may not need a full coverage. You may need like a medium coverage or something that's a little bit buildable. Um, this one I would say airs on a little bit more of a full coverage. Um, but if you go to like Target or Sephora, they've got beauty consultants there that can kind of help you find what you need in a, in a foundation. Let's talk about setting powder. Setting powder is what is gonna help foundation really stay on your skin. Um, you can either choose to set your whole face, some people do, and that works great, um, or you can choose like I do to just set the specific areas of your face that tend to kind of slip and slide around. Um, so to help it stay put, um, but then kind of keep a little bit of a dewiness to your whole face. I'm using the Pretty Vulgar Setting Powder. There's lots of great ones out there, especially drugstore. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder is beautiful, and the Flower Beauty Powder is also a really great choice. Um, so what I like to do is take the sponge that I just used and tap it into the powder and just kind of press it around the areas that need it the most. Next, let's talk about concealer. Concealer is really great, especially for special occasion makeup because it can be used for so many things. It can be used to spot conceal if you have any blemishes. It can be used to cover dark circles. It can be used as an eyeshadow primer. This is gonna kind of make a blade canvas and help your shadow kind of stick to your face a little bit better. So put on my eyebrows because there's not really a whole lot of tips and tricks for your eyebrows. They're just all pretty much the same. Use a pencil, use a gel, and they'll stay put all day. So today I am going to use the Rimmel Cosmetics Magnifies Nude Edition palette. I really like this one. It's extremely affordable and it's actually a pretty good dupe for the Naked palette. I think the Naked 2. Um, so this is a really nice one. I do like this one because you can go a little bit smokier if you want to or you can keep it really nice and neutral. Um, but either way, this is a great choice and will go with most outfits. Next, I'm going to show you my secret weapon for any special occasion look that you want to have a little bit of extra glitter for um, that's going to last all day. It is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. Uh, 
liquid shimmer eyeshadow this stuff is absolutely beautiful and it does not budge you're not going to have glitters falling around your face and it's just perfect for a little bit on the inner eyelid or even the inner corner or whatever you want to do with it but this stuff is amazing All right, do you see that? It's so, so pretty. Let it dry down pretty well before you try to put any like eyeliner on over it or put your lashes on um, because once it's dry, it is dry. Okay, I went ahead and just finished everything up. I put on a liner and some mascara. My two biggest tips for those things is to use a liquid liner and to use a waterproof mascara. They're the things that are gonna stay on the longest and just not move. So they're a little bit more difficult to take off, but they're definitely worth it for longevity purposes. Next, let's talk about the face. Um, I'm gonna just use some drugstore products and we're gonna just kind of warm up and give a little bit of a flush. One thing that I think gets really overlooked and I've seen it time and time again in um, wedding photography especially is neglecting your face. I've seen, you know, a really beautiful eye and a really nice shiny lip, but the rest of the face has no dimension to it or color. If you choose to contour and bronze, that's really great, but definitely you're gonna need at least a blush. Um, blush is going to help you look like you have some life and color to your face, especially after using a foundation, which kind of makes everything one blank canvas. Myself, personally, I really like Wet n Wild products for my face. These are super inexpensive. They're at most drugstores, um, and they're just, they look really nice in photos. I like the Mega Glow Contouring Palette, but the Color Icon Bronzers are also very, very, very nice. Um, but both of these are about $5, including the blushes, so you can't really beat that. One thing to note when you're using contour and blush is to really, really blend it because if you have any like harsh lines or missed a spot, it really does show up in photo photography. It really does um, show up in pictures. Um, so I like to use a really big fluffy brush for my contour and just blend it, blend it, blend it, and blend it along my hairline. So can you see that it makes a really big difference just to bring some warmth to your face and to your cheeks? Um, I think it's something that does get kind of forgotten about a lot um, and does make a big difference that you'll really notice in photos. And next, I wanna talk about highlighter. Highlighter is super in and that super glowy, like glazed donut, everyone's shining to the heavens, has been really in lately. So something to kind of remember is that while a ton of highlight looks really great editorially, um, and in like Instagram photos and like how to do makeup, but in real life and in photos of special occasions, highlight is great. Too much highlight looks a little crazy. So again, just like blush and contour, um, I like this fan brush. I think it looks really nice, but just like really blend and don't go too heavy. I always think of there's this one picture of Nikki Tutorials. We can all agree that she is the queen of highlight and loves a ton of highlight and a nude lip. So she did this video, I think she's going to the Kids' Choice Awards, where she was talking about the look she's doing for the Kids' Choice Awards, and she did a really dark, smoky eye, a nude, nude lip, and just highlight everywhere. In her video and in photos that she took, like, in her studio, she looked amazing. Absolutely gorgeous, you know, glowing to the heavens, but then she got out on the red carpet and she looked just sweaty. She looked hot, it looked like she had no lips, um, and she just it didn't translate well to the event that she was going to. So I think that's a really good example of kind of knowing what your face is gonna look like when you take a photo. I use the ColourPop Lunch Money. I really like this one because, wow, Flexitarian is my absolute favorite. This one is very, very, very highlighting. Lunch Money is beautiful, it's a little bit more subtle, and just gives a really pretty sheen and a glow. All right, let's talk about lips. 
So for this type of eye look, this more um, nudes and neutral colors, you can kind of do whatever you want with your lips. Um, you can do something more bold and dark like this one from Ofra, it's called Havana Nights. Um, or you can go more of a nude or neutral shade um, like one of these guys or this one's even really pretty. Um, just something that's gonna show your lips and have them show up on camera and while you're out and about. Mm. I think I'm going to try this one. I don't know if I've ever worn it, but it's a really pretty color. So your best bet is really going to be to choose a long-lasting liquid lipstick. Um, this Ofra one is very nice. I got it in a boxy charm. Um, but a brand that's really good and stays on for quite a while is the Maybelline um, Matte Ink. I don't have mine up here right now to show you, but they're. Um, but I think it's the Maybelline ink mattes or matte ink like INK those stay on forever give them a few minutes to dry down but they will not come off and they have really fun colors like really nice neutrals and nudes to really bright bolds and dark shades I definitely recommend that one um, wet n wild their liquid catsuit is like three bucks a tube and it also lasts forever this one is pretty dry so I like to um, put this one on let it really dry down and put a little bit of a gloss or a topper on with it um, but they're both really great, really affordable brands. All right, that is lips on, and now the final finishing thing is I like a setting spray. Um, this MAC Prep and Prime one is one I've used forever and really, really like. This one is really nice also from Wet n Wild. Apparently, Wet n Wild is my jam lately. Um, their Photo Focus setting spray is really, really nice. It does, I will tell you, have a little bit of, um, their mist isn't very fine, so hold it a little bit further away and it won't get blobby. Um, but what I do is I spray it all over my face and then I get ready and I have a little fan sitting here because it's really hot up here. Um, so I just do a little of this or fan it with a magazine or a book and just let it really sit down and it'll lock in everything and you'll be good to go for the rest of the night. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found some helpful tips and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful special occasion season. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because I will love you forever. Have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.